daddy, you go crazy. Yeah. So okay, so so so, so Janice Hart, the comedian slash porn actress. Criminal. Sorry. The ex con. Real Not street con. nigga. <laughs> From Merlin. For very Murderland. That's what they call it. No, they don't okay, call okay, it that. Okay, they okay. don't call it that. Okay. <laughs> but um, you know, all in all, what's a message that you would like to leave the young ladies? Save your money. Save every dime that you have. F these wigs, f these nails, f them clothes, money. None of that shit is an asset. Save your money. Rent's going up. I just said this on the internet. Rent's going up. You know, groceries is going up, gas is going up. They're charging, my light bill is $500. Electricity, water, gas is going up. They're trying, to get, they're trying to get rid of the lower class. Get up out of there. I wouldn't even go to college. Fuck that shit. That shit is debt passed down to your kids, 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 kids. It, it, so once you die, they pass it down. They really do. Save every dime that you have. Like, oh my God. I wish I would. The year that I made a million dollars is in 2021. I made a million dollars. And I came out of 2021 with like $75,000. Save Tell your uh, money. Yeah, save your money. That's not, that's not good. <laughs> and I have nothing to show for it. I mean, I have a nice house, but I have really nothing to show for it. For I mean, it's not about how much you make, it's about how much you save. Cause you can make a hundred thousand dollars a year and have zero at the end. You didn't make. You're not getting that back. It's gone. You're not getting that back. Save your money. Mm. You trying to be fresher than these motherfuckers broke. Everybody's poor. <laughs> I'm just saying. Buy properties. Invest into businesses. I don't know. Just do something else besides trying to look cute all day. It's unnecessary. I look like this one day after week. When you called me. I had them glasses on, that North Face hat on, Scully, right. thugging it. Like, that's what it is. Right. <laughs> I'm going to look good when, it's, when I need to, but it's unnecessary. It's, it's expensive to be cute every day, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> right. Save your bread. That's the only thing I got for you. In the media, you know, a lot of black women are discouraged and they feel, you know, they, they have to change themselves to be um, attract, attractive to the black man. Um, right now, it just seems like in the media, a lot of black men don't like black women. So I wanted to see, you know, do you guys like black women? I asked, you know, on every podcast that I get on, I ask about it. Like, what's your preference? What's your preference? Let's start with you, Spence. No. You like black women? I love black women. You love black women? Do you like black women that have black features? Yeah, natural, uh, whatever. For real? Yeah, no makeup. What about you, DJ? Now, 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 what makes you feel like black men don't love black women? I didn't say that. I said the way that the media is is painting the picture. I mean, when I go outside, I see a lot of black men with black women. But on TV, on the media, they're pushing a certain, you know, narrative. So I just wanted to know, and I want the black women to hear it too. Like, what? So, what narrative are you talking about, though? That's being they're pushing pushed? interracial. Yeah. Cause I see him pushing a lot Every of gay. Every time show a darker woman like me, it's with an Asian, Hispanic, white man. You know, you don't watch TV. I don't. Uh, yeah. Am I Ooh. keeping it for real? Nah, right. I was just like in the commercial too. It's like what the fuck? And it's never two black couples. It's never a she black ass really. bitch with a black well, ass. Thing. I'm like, you can't shit. let the media, oh. you know. I don't. I mean, I want black ass kids. I don't give a. Fuck. I'm never giving up on a black man, but that's me. You know. There's a lot of black women that's just like, it, I'm no, gonna we, just go date a white man because black men don't love me. That's what a lot of black women are feeling. Well, so. I, I, I love black women for sure, you know? Um, but do the black woman love the black man is the real question. I mean, do y'all be on my page? Because we love black men on my page. I don't know, like, it's all black on my pages. Every page, I, I, I make sure that I, you know, I up the black man. I even talk shit, but I always say, like, I love black men. I don't give a You're now, the only man that can understand me, like, my trauma, everything. Yeah. So yeah, I ain't gonna act like the You black don't feel woman. like 
the black woman. That's why I've been saying I ain't gonna act like the black woman don't love the black man. I'm not gonna act like that. Maybe it's the preference, and I had to realize that. Mm -hmm. Because I felt like black men didn't love black women too, but then I realized it was my preference, what I was choosing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But what about you? Because you just came in. I think black men and women um, are connected just naturally in the media or whoever else with their agendas. You know, if you looking at that, you could believe it's true, but just a follow in nature. I don't think that black men and women are supposed to not be together. So I think it's very important. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> I just try not to get caught up in the media. Like that's entertaining. You can't believe half of what you see on the screen. Exactly. You know what I'm in real life, black men and women and shit. My, that's my what I said. I said you go outside. It's like so. okay. So do you uh do you have like struggles in your dating life um as a <clears throat> Definitely. Uh, I, I meet porn. men that want to date me for Janice, but they're really scared of I'm triple X dark. Like, it's like, what is I'm triple X dark going to do? Is she going to suck a random nigga? Is she going to find a man that makes way more money and, and get with him? I'm not materialistic. So I drop materialism and superficialness when through my healing. So um, I look at the black man differently now that I've healed so much. I have so much patience for him, and I just know that, you know, I, I can relate to him, like I said, the most. So it's like, I'm very patient with the black man. There's a lot of things that I have to overcome, like, you know, talking down and, and being masculine, because I have been doing it by myself for a long time. Mm -hmm. But I just wish that we would just stop and, and try to understand each other, because we're the same people. But yeah, it is difficult because once I start talking about that I do porn, it changes it changes the dynamic of the conversation. Sure. Like now it's like, let put me in a video. I want to do porn too. Like it's like a little kid in the candy store. It's like, oh no. You know what I mean? It's like, eh, this is not, you know. How do you suggest a man separate the two though, right? Like I that's what I'm saying. There are sex workers that have a personality. All sex workers are human, but there's a lot of sex workers that just be like, okay, I'm gonna just be sexy the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know who you, I, I can't remember what her name was, but with the short haircut. And you Thick said- Thick ass Daphne. And you said she wanted to talk about dick sucking. Well, that was Kay Kitty. Oh, okay, Kay Kitty. So with things like that, it's just like, you feel like that's what people expect out of you. So now it's like, let me just talk about that just because that's what people expect. But once I realized that people, you can, you can humanize yourself. And you can, I mean, people still gonna be horny, but you can humanize yourself. There's people that I meet that don't know that, I'm a, that I do porn. Mm -hmm. Like my recent ex, he didn't know that I did porn. So he got to know me for me. But I feel like the porn side really made him insecure, you know? Cause yeah. he wasn't what he wanted to be as a man. I was patient, but I can only be so patient. I can only be patient for so long, you know what I mean? You know, I want my man to want to elevate mentally, financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually. It's time to elevate. I'm not staying stuck down here. Right. I'm a revolutionary. Right. I can't stay in one place. DJ, you go crazy.